guys. So I'm finally moving out of my apartment that I was staying with Aya to move to my own solo apartment, my first solo apartment. I think I'm gonna do a solo apartment tour. I just wanted to come and check in on you guys. Like this is like literally the last few things that have been taken. Um, I'm kind of moving into like the same apartment. It's just that it's a different block. So it's like in the same apartment complex that I've been in, basically the same apartment. But I remember that I don't think when I moved in here, I took you guys on like an empty apartment tour and showed you guys everything because I was just moving into my bedroom and my friend and I shared furniture and everything. So I, I, I couldn't really show you guys basically a space that is not solely mine. But um, I'm gonna do the MC apartment tour and then I think there's things that I need to go to Mr. Price's home to go get. But I need to just finish a little bit of work first and then I will show you guys the MC apartments. And it's literally the same as this apartment, it's just that it's gonna be like different setup. But anyway, um. Yeah, I'll show you that, guys. And then as the months go, I'll keep showing you guys, maybe in vlogs, how I end up decorating my apartment. Um, I think the first place that I'm gonna focus on is the lounge, then move from the lounge to the bathroom, then move to the, from the bathroom to my second bedroom, which is gonna be basically the office slash studio. Where I'm gonna be shooting all of my videos. So I haven't been on YouTube as well, guys, because I've been anticipating this move and I've been like packing things up. So I don't want to shoot something in like a space that is not right, and I just wanted to shoot directly in my new home office slash studio. Um, when I've got everything just like set up and everything's just gonna stay set up That's the greatest thing about this move is that everything is gonna stay set up like my lighting and stuff So I don't have to pack up lighting and things. I just need to pick up something. I don't have to pack up lighting and My things every time I want to shoot things are just gonna be in one place So it's just gonna be make myself make it easier for me to shoot more be more consistent in editing and uploading um, especially when my workload at work is not so Printed and not so heavy, but anyway, guys, let's do this. Like, I feel like this vlog is going to be so many vlogs and so many different moments together because every time I was vlogging, I literally excuse the echo. Every time I was vlogging, I was literally mentioning the move all the time, and I was like, it hadn't even been finalized in my life, maybe this is so. I was like, if I put this out there and things kind of don't turn out the way that I want them to turn out, I'm gonna be jinxing myself. So I just kept everything to myself, but I'll show you guys everything. Like I've changed my bed. I, there's so many changes that have happened in my life. So I'm gonna show you guys all of them. So I'm gonna show you guys all of them basically in this vlog. So yeah, there's just my table left, the vase, and basically that's situa the fridge and the micro. I mean, the fridge and the washing machine, and basically like everything that's left over there. Okay, guys, empty apartments were very very quick. We enter and we walk into the first bedroom which is like the spare bed which is going to be my studio slash office i've just put my table here because the movers were putting in my things and we've got some cupboard space i'm so glad about the storage space because i had a storage issue so everything of mine is gonna have a place to sit i'm definitely using this cupboard solely for storage for all my shooting equipment all my makeup everything that i my wig making equipment everything that i just need i'm putting in this storage and then we move over we're going into the kitchen. They've got brown cupboards and um, what I love about this is they've got, I forgot this marble, what it's called. It's got tons of cupboard space. There's a cupboard there, there's a cupboard there, there's a cupboard there, up there, up there, up there. 
and when we come to the sink we've got a double sink another cupboard we've got the space for the washing machine and i think they can sit a dishwashing machine and or a dryer we've got the final two cupboards then we have my fridge sitting and chilling right here then we move on let me put on the lights to the bathroom move on to the bathroom so it's got a bath it's got a toilet obviously and it's got a sink and a shower and that's me over there looking shady af guys the bathroom the only thing that i don't like about it is the walls are this color but i'm thinking of changing the light bulb to a fluorescent white and also if ever i'm doing bathroom things i'm gonna do them with lighting then over here we have the lounge area it's now spacious and we move to the balcony i've just hung up pictures i obviously need to get a tv a mat a couch i'm thinking the couch is gonna sit there and the mat's gonna be here and then obviously there's gonna be the tv over here I'm not particularly sure if i want to have like a dining area in that corner or i want to put my dining area in that corner don't mind my shoes i'm walking barefoot then we move on we get to the balcony the balcony is kind of tiny but we have a balcony it's much smaller than the balcony that i have but the balcony just shows the other building blocks and then we move finally to the last bedroom which is my bedroom as you can see i've changed my bed i have a new headboard i'm going to put that in the vlog showing me moving into this new apartment i don't think i'm gonna show you guys moving but yeah this is basically it um so i have not been doing anything this entire time i've been at home just chilling doing nothing even now there's not much it's just that i am changing up my bedroom or rather i'm just changing my bed if you guys remember i had a pallet bed but i'm changing that so i'm gonna show you guys that i'm gonna plug the people that did the bed for me why am i blurry i'm sorry sorry for that anyway um yeah so um i bought this basket thing from mr price home it was like 150 i think it's kind of expensive for something so small but i just thought actually my makeup is currently sitting in this other basket and that one is falling apart so let me transfer it to a proper basket and i didn't have time to go to west pack before it closed um i just thought that should be part of this vlog like you know reorganizing things changing things up um yeah you guys are gonna see a lot of changes with regards to me but those you're gonna see in the months coming also guys i'm so excited um i got an email that's so exciting i'm gonna be literally on my first paid campaign soon and it's beyond exciting for little old me to be recognized by people who work with such brands so Guys, I still haven't set up my bed because I am working. But I wanted to show you guys the brand that I was talking about where I was sent a press package um, for National Lipstick Day. But because I was working on another campaign, I couldn't post it at the time. But look at this, guys. My word. Wait. Maybelline, guys. I got sent maybelline new york i got sent some matte lipsticks from maybelline guys <laughs> i'm so emotional about this because guys <laughs> um i'm beyond emotional about this guys because i've always wanted to work with makeup brands like when it comes to makeup i love i absolutely love makeup like as you guys know i love makeup guys i'm beyond 
this is like i don't know i don't want to say full circle because i don't believe that i have reached full circle yet um that is still in my prayers but guys the way in which i've wanted to work with brands like i've wanted to work with brands and so far um i think the one time i got press um pr from a brand was from essence and that was just to thank me for being such a huge fan so for maybelline for someone to send me an email saying hey listen please give us your address because we work with maybelline and we would love for you to get some pr is just beyond for me it's like guys these things are the things that i've been praying for a little longer than a few minutes later Tell me what you say now, tell me what you say You said that you would come again You said that we would remain friends But you know that I do not depend on nothing or no one So why would you show up so uninvited Then just change my mind like that Please don't take this personal But you ain't shit
Four to six weeks later. Hey guys. Hey, hey. So, um, I'm in my new apartment. Q. Or in the next new apartment. I just got a new apartment. Anyway, um, basically, this is the current situation. I need to unpack everything. That is my bed. Not done boxes 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 everywhere i need to hang curtains and laces so where the hell okay there's my ladder so a whole lot needs to be done by the way it's my birthday today and you know what i did nothing <laughs> i did nothing this weekend okay i went out last night but um for my day i just really didn't do anything i was hanging first of all bad bad and i also need to pack up my stuff and there's stuff i need to do for my studies so i'm basically having a birthday in but i've got some dranky drinks that i'm gonna be drinking while i'm packing and yeah basically for my birthday i just moved into my new apartment <laughs> this is so exciting guys so I'm, I'm holding you guys because i don't know where my tripod is right now i need to just find it um so this part of the vlog is just gonna be me showing you guys what i'm doing to settle in here and also i think i'm gonna start with my bedroom and make my bed first because i want to make sure that um if whenever i get tired i just go to bed because that is important so let me make my bed and i'm also going to show you some stuff that i got from at home from a surprise home from checkers yeah so let me start unpacking guys <laughs>
entertaining for you and your friends You know how I spend in H-O-U-S-T-O-N I get too crazy, had a little bad enough We stay good friends, we get too crazy All I know is that when this cup ends The next one begins My babe, you know me And you knew me back then And you know how it goes when I see you again You know I'm making my Way to your ends, and you know I need you to be there for me. You a little post, so baby. You a little 48, baby. Got a little candy in her pocket. She gon' take off like a. You already know. Dirtied up a couple more. Guys, is midnight. My birthday is officially. Oh, hi. Okay, so I want to show you guys. I went to Mr. Price Home at home and Checkers. So I'm going to show you guys what I got there. Um, at Checkers, let's start with Checkers because I didn't get much. At Checkers, I got this cutlery set. It's just like a simple cutlery set. It has a stand, which I'm thinking of keeping. I just don't know what I'm going to hang on the stand because um, I'm keeping my cutlery in the drawer. I got knives. These were 60 Rand. Oh, by the way, this was 280. It's a 24 piece. These were 60 Rand. It's three types of knives. It's like a smooth knife, a steak knife, and a peeling knife for 60 Rand. What else did I get at Checkers? Oh, yeah. I also got these tumbler glasses. So these glasses are like 40 Rand for three. And I just thought these are so cute. Let me get them. Um, I also specifically got them to like pour people juice when they're visiting because my glasses are huge. So these ones are more like acceptable and they're very cute. I think when it comes to glasses, Checkers is really good, guys. Checkers is really good. I need to take a shower. Like before I go to sleep, I'm gonna take a shower because I am exhausted. I thought I was gonna be able to tackle the second room today even like I thought I was gonna tackle it tonight but I can't after this kitchen I am done like all these boxes need to go down into the trash and I'm gonna take them tomorrow I will set up the room tomorrow after I've gone through things that I need for school let me go pack up these glasses oh yeah sorry guys I'm showing you a haul so I got two of these it's 40 Rand each and they ended up being 80 Rand for all six of them then at, at home, I got this bamboo um, cutlery um, cutlery tray. It's extend, it's expandable, so it moves like it moves. So whenever I move to a place with bigger drawers, definitely gonna be utilizing this, and that's why I got it at, at home. Cause at home is quality, and even though like it's a bit very very priced but it's, it's quality stuff so they last so i'm pretty i'm pretty sure that this is gonna last for quite a while and that's about it from at home that was 400 grand guys then at mr price home i got this set of like plastic utensil set it's a six piece utensil set um oh that make that reminds me i need a colander for when i do pasta so this was 80 rand um it's just got like the spoon i think this is for match i don't even this soup spoon uh pasta spoon or rather i use it for pasta a dishing spoon a dishing spoon with holes and a i think for an egg a, a spatula yes and a spatula i just got this basic thing for now um then um i also got a bathroom mat non-slip mat this is for when i come out of the shower i'm gonna go put it in the bathroom then i got like bathroom stuff at mr Price home so i have stuff that are all like matching in color oh my word this is chipped i i have this gray thing so this gray thing is a toilet brush this was 200 rand for it to be chipped amazing so amazing but you know what it's fine at least it's in the bathroom and it's gonna be hidden 
in the bathroom so these little small and yellow chips aren't gonna really matter um, then I got a, a tumbler this one was it's a flow tumbler this is 90 Rand but this is what I'm gonna put my toothbrush in and my Colgate so this is gonna be for my toothbrushes and my Colgate and when I have guests over they can put their things in there for the time being like if they're staying for more than like just a weekend and then I got a soap dispenser for the bathroom I just thought it's so cute and I love grey guys like if in case you don't notice when it comes to interior I grey always gonna be like some sort of element of grey you guys even saw with my bedding in my bedroom oh my god uh, this thing uh. okay guys anyway I got two of these and these were 100 grand yeah these were 100 grand so I got two of them and I'm gonna put them in the bathroom so that's the stuff that I got let me go pack them up the next day hey guys um today is sunday um i still haven't unpacked the second bedroom but i finished the kitchen um i just want to sit down and make myself something to eat maybe like noodles just something quick uh before i start packing up i just come from the mall i don't know why i didn't get myself something to eat there but anyway i'm hungry i want to show you guys what i got i didn't vlog at the mall because like it was super packed and it just anxiety inducing and i was up and down so i went to mr price home i went to poetry and i went to checkers and i'm gonna show you guys what i got so at checkers i got a colander um i like cooking pasta so i'm gonna use that for that this was 70 rand at checkers with pro chef and was the largest one guys mr price home no dura let me actually i don't like this angle okay guys when i tell you mr price home is expensive because i first bought a, this a same size colander at mr price home and it was 170 rand but i went to check his afterwards and i saw this one was actually 70 rand so i was like you know what there's no way i'm gonna keep the 171 rand one i went back to mr price home i went back to mr price home and i literally like returned it i was like nope let me get a refund so that's what I got at Mr. I mean a checkers, a calendar. I got a chopping board set. This is a chopping board set. It's got four chopping board. This was a hundred rand, and it was it's non-stick, so it's got this like rubbery feeling, um, and it's plastic as well. Obviously, this is just for my chopping. Um, no, this light is annoying. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, that's much better. 
that's just for my chopping um i wanted to get a wooden chopping board as well for like decor in the kitchen but i want and then i was gonna get these as well like the plastic ones for when i do want to actually chop because um, i wasn't going to use the wooden ones for chopping that was just going to be for decor but i went a different route in terms of what i'm going to decorate the kitchen with so long because i want to get started with setting up my tea station and everything else like i want to have a tea station here over there there's going to be like the microwave and the blender and just normal then over here is going to be my tea station it's going to be my marble um plate that i'm going to show you guys that i got from poetry and it's also going to be like the oil thing and for the salt and pepper so i got this oil canister at um at checkers this was literally 30 rand guys it's so big i think it's one liter oh it's 750 ml so i'm gonna put my oil in here um and I'm, it's gonna stay on the outside and then i also got a bucket which was 40 rand and um this dustpan and broom thing was 50 rand and i also got a mop Ooh. and i also got a mop which was 70 rand then at mr price home okay let me show you guys what i got at poetry actually oh yeah i was going to pick up so at poetry so here it is at poetry i got this marble plate which is gorgeous and it was on special it was 375 but i got it for 250 it was reduced and this is why what i'm saying i'm gonna put it there in the corner in my kitchen and i'm gonna put the canister on top of it then i'm gonna take out my salt and pepper thingies i think i want new salt and pepper thingies but i didn't see nice ones at mr price home at home and at checkers and at poetry there weren't any so i still need to look for nice ones uh, to replace them but for now i'm gonna use the ones that i have so that's what i got this was 250 guys it's currently on special it's reduced and then at pep home i got a storage box which was 100 rand like it's a large storage box it's like gray with brown handles um i'm just going to put this in the bathroom i want to put toilet paper in it so that when a person's in the bathroom a guest they don't have to search where toilet paper is oh i also got um shower gloves at pep home they're 17 rands guys i'm not very fussy when it comes to shower gloves i just get, would get them whenever i see them and whenever i remember to purchase them then at Mr. Pan's home, I got a wooden um, paper towel holder. Uh, I got two glasses. I got two of these highball marble glasses to finish because I've already got like four. So to finish the set, so I have six, I got these glasses. These are the ones I was saying that they're very big. That's why I got the other ones at Checkers. Um... Um, I got a, a grater which is 80 rand and it's so nice it's got a rubber bottom and a rubber handle so perfect I got a silk a satin pillowcase at Mr. Price home because I just don't have any satin pillowcases and I don't like sleeping with my hair on my pillowcases in my bed I got these track gliders like 200 track gliders um, because there aren't any so I can now finally hang my curtains I got this pot for a pot thing and it's got like weight what not what not and it's tempered glass so that when I'm cooking I just put the top on top of it even though there's granite um, tabletops here the, the tabletop the counters in the kitchen are granite so I can put um, hot pots but I just like this because of the whole volume metric system thing it changes from volume to cups like it changes from millimeters to cups to pounds is oz pounds oh ours is ounces or pounds or whatever and it shows the temperature so i like this this is like really cute i'm so sad that i didn't like i don't know if it's like clear there's like a 
reflection but like i'm so sad i didn't get the huge one because i've seen this on zx online's channel um or her instagram i don't remember which but they don't have the huge one at mr price home and then lastly i got a lace curtain for my second bedroom where i'm gonna be packing up now so yeah that's basically it guys um what i got from the mall um i'm thinking of closing off this vlog here guys um because i feel like it's gonna be so much i'm gonna be have a really really rough time editing because i'm gonna take footage from like long ago and just do a lot a lot a lot a lot because i haven't posted in a while but guys thank you so much for tuning into my channel i'm so grateful that i was able to show this part of my life this journey this like chapter of my life where i start um living in an apartment by myself i'm definitely gonna vlog some more whenever like i i do things to update my home like when my couch arrives when i buy a tv everything and everything and more like i'm gonna take you guys along for that ride with me i'm so excited for this stage of my life and i'm so glad that i was able to share it with you guys thank you so much for tuning in please don't forget to like comment on this video whatever you want to comment subscribe to my channel and continue supporting me thank you so much for tuning in and until next time bye